Hello YouTube, anything's possible music here, how are we? Now this is going to be a quick video on a website that I discovered for checking playlists. Now it's a free website, it's really useful, so I, I recommend you do check it out. Now if part of your strategy is getting on playlists and having playlists grow your music, then you want to make sure that your playlists that you're getting on are real. Now you probably know over over time that there's a, a lot of suspicious playlists out there, a lot of dodgy curators. Now I do my own playlist curating via daily playlists and I've discovered there are a few dodgy cur curators out there. So what you want to be doing is making sure that one, the playlists are correct, uh, they're, they're real and they're not suspicious and then sort of working out roughly how many streams you can expect to get from. So it's just a really quick video which of a website that I want you to remember and check out yourself. I'll show you plenty of examples and then we can just uh, show you which playlists are real, which playlists are suspicious and obviously how to ignore them going forward. So enjoy the rest of the video and please subscribe if you enjoy it. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my playlists. Now I've been playlist curating uh, as a hobby for about two years now and I really enjoy it but I do see very similar patterns you know I see the same artists I see the same discovered on and um, basically you see a few people who keep being looped into the same mistakes so basically what I do is I've got I've only got about 20 playlists you know and I've grown them for two years but every time I go to an artist when I'm adding or taking them off I see the same pattern so I'm just going to pick on any artist here and we're going to look at a playlist that I frequently see and um, I blatantly can prove that it's a bot so let me just look at that playlist here so you can see it here now this always seems to appear on the same artists now I'm going to go and prove it in artist tools website which is the site that I'm using I'm going to actually show you six examples here you, are. you can see all six if you want to stay tuned for them all and I'm just going to run you through them one by one so Let's go and start off with that one playlist, which I know is a bot. We, even without looking at this website, I actually know it's a bot. And every time I see the same artist doing the same mistakes. So basically you can see it here. Now what I'm going to do is, um, you've got the six examples at the top, but I'm going to run through these. Um, there, there's my two actually, by the way, and there's one at the end. But here we go. Let's look at this main one, which as you can see, the playlist, uh, when you put it into this URL section here, now you can see that it's 100% botted, you know. So every time I see an artist um, on their discovered on and I see this frequently, I just realize uh, they're being ripped off. So this is an example of why you should use this site, which I do think is very good. Now you can go down to the quality aspect as well and you can see very suspicious um, ratings here. The rating's amazing because it keeps appearing on the discovered on and that's because the bot just keeps playing it on. Now you can see this, Look, it's very suspicious. You can see there's over 1,900 tracks, but literally they're only on there for two days. So how do they keep getting on that discovered on? I'm just um, um, not sure, you know, but you can plainly tell that it is botted playlist. So if you somehow do get on that one, just ignore it. Now, this one's a possibly botted one. Now, obviously, you, you would repeat the same tricks. You can see... The growth in it, you can see when it's updated, you can see the sort of the artists, the genres, the, the popularity score down there, which is pretty low. And um, yeah, we go to the, the quality part, same thing, very suspicious. It appears on 94% of artists discovered on, which you would um, assume is quite suspicious. Now, again, down here, you can see there's only 78 tracks on this one. And as you can see, the tracks aren't on here for particularly long. So if you are paying to get onto this playlist, you can basically expect to be on there probably less than 30 days, which um, I've mentioned on previous videos, it's just pointless. So I'm gonna show you one of mine now, just to be straight up and honest with you. This is not my best playlist. This is literally people who want 30 days, but you can see I am, it's a bot free playlist and that I grow this playlist via daily playlists so you can see the popularity isn't great because people get on playlists and then they don't want to listen to them which i think is pointless now the rating is pretty bad now i'll admit that that's because 
a lot of people don't want to bother listening to it. They just want to get on a playlist and then not listening, which is disappointing. But uh, I do give people the opportunity. So if you do want to be on here for 30 days, you can click on the link that I'll try and put in the description. It's relatively free. Oh, it is free, actually. And you can just um, get 30 days for um, nothing, really. And you will get some streams, just not many, you know. Now, I'm going to show you one of my better playlists. Now, this is Peace and Quiet, which is my um, my favourite playlist to listen to. Now, as you can see, the same old. It's a bot free, and I grow it via daily playlists. Now, again, you can see the followers, etc. You can see the quality. Now, this quality is good. Now, that shows you that... Um, it is a good playlist. It's a really nice playlist. Playlist score is actually also very good. Now, if you go down this and compare this one, so there's 175 tracks. And you can see that I am I'm pretty generous in that I will leave people on there for a few months normally, just so they can get a few extra streams. Now, I do believe in... I don't like to be one of these playlists that just take you off after a month, because I think that's pointless. Now, I'm going to show you a... Decent playlist curator. Now, this playlist curator clearly uses Submit Link, Submit Hub, Daily Playlist, and Groover. So they're earning a lot of money out of this, to be fair, and fair play to them. But they are a genuine good playlist. So look, you can see there appears on 51%. So I think that's lower than mine, but it's an amazing ranking. And as you can see, this playlist curator is very similar, you know, with the exception of one or two. You'll probably only be on there for. 30 days now this person's clearly going to charge you for 30 days playlist you might think that's not very good value if you're not getting many streams from it and you might just think this is good so that generally is a very normal pattern for playlist curators they just charge you 30 days and that's it so this last example is somebody ripped me off so i paid them via daily playlist to get on a playlist and they s approved me which is good but i proved via my spotify for artists that they ripped me off with no streams whatsoever so even though they are a approved playlist curator this one clearly is ripping people off, you know. So compare this to my playlist, which was good. This one's rated bad. Now, they put me on here. They put me on here for just under a, a month. Now, this person clearly just leaves tracks on there, with the exception of one or two. Um, so most of the playlist songs just stay on there. And then at the bottom, you can see a few tracks that are actually put on and off. But... Generally, this is someone who ripped me off, so um, I'm not going to use them again. And basically, that is it. So what do you think? Now, drop your comments, and let's go from there, you know. So thank you. So that's basically it, you know. So um, it's a really good, useful website that I discovered. And do you know what? Every time I see myself appear on a playlist, it's just worth checking out, you know, just to work out whether or not it's... Um, real or botted or complete scam you know just uh, you don't want to get on these botted playlists because you know you risk being kicked off so uh best to avoid them and it's always just good to check you know so hopefully you enjoyed this video remember to check out uh, my other videos and press the subscribe button and i'll wish you well in your musical journeys you know thank you very much